Hi, I'm Brandon from Iron Edison Battery Company. Today we are going to take a look at programming the Schneider XW inverter, charge controller, and system control panel. Any other devices you might have on the network to give each device its own unique identifier. Here is the Schneider system control panel. First step, I'm gonna put the system into AC bypass using the bypass circuit breaker up here in the power distribution panel. Top left circuit breaker. I'm gonna go to grid bypass so that when we change the unique identifier, we are not going to uh, turn off the power for the rest of the house. Showing we've lost the grid input power. It's okay, we went into bypass. And let's go ahead and turn the inverter, starting from the very top here. enter. What we're trying to do is confirm that each of the devices has their own unique identification number. Those are going to be the last two digits right here. And if they don't have their own unique identifier, then uh, there's a conflict on the network. What's the challenge is the system control panel wants to default to device zero zero. And so do all other new devices when they come onto the Zambus network. So the 4024, MPPT60, and second MPPT60 would all come with a unique ID of 00. zero. Uh, so let's go ahead and change that. Under, under system settings, let's go ahead and set system mode, enter, down, Enter. Now the system is in standby. You can see that on the inverter up here. The inverter reads STB for standby. Now we can make those programming settings to the unique ID. I'll go back, exit to the device menu. Press down to select the XW inverter, enter. Let's go under basic settings. Nope. All right, so to access the uh, unique identifier, we have to press enter up and down simultaneously. So I'm gonna button mash three at a time. When I press them at exactly the same time, the advanced settings pops up. Press enter. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this list. Down, down, down. Multi unit config. Enter. Here's the name. I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to press down to highlight the device number. Press enter. And right now is when the System would typically just immediately and unexpectedly go into shutdown. So that's not ideal. Let's disable it first. And then we come in, change the device number to any uh, unique number that you want. Uh, I recommend putting the inverters as lower numbers and then inverter hot and then charge controllers higher. Use groups of 10. Group them however you want. Be creative. Let's come up with a new scheme right now. Inverters 30. We can see it just took that unique ID number right there. Let's change it to 33. Oh, only 30 in the list. Let's go 28. Look, there it is. It says 4024 device number 28. Exit, exit, exit. 
Back to the list of devices, we can see the MPPD60, the charge controller, is unit number 11. Enter. Advanced settings is already there. If I did the three buttons, goes away. I'm gonna hit them again. There it is, advanced settings, enter. Multi-unit config. Device name. Don't press enter here. Press down. Device number. Why not 12? Why not 13? 14? Let's see, did, does it take it? There it is. Updated. Advanced settings, multi-unit config, 17, enter, or exit, 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 two charge controllers, the inverter, Let's see if the SCP tells us anything. exit and looking good every device has its own unique ID we'll go in here system settings system mode that that noise means we're operating Go ahead and take it out of bypass. We are now running off the grid. Right now the load is consuming 1,090 watts of AC from the inverter. The battery is being drawn out at 56 amps DC. And if we multiply 56 amps DC times 25.8 battery volts DC, uh, we will come up with a number very close to the 1,090 watts shown in the, the load. The AC1 indicates zero volts because there is no power connected to the AC input circuit breaker. Nothing on the AC in, nothing on the AC2 in. You can see the line one and line two. 240 volt output coming from the inverter. 60 hertz. It's a bit of a surge up to about 1500 watts there. It's warm, we got a window AC going, a couple of fans. pulling 66 amps DC out of the battery and the battery is holding 26 volts. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. XW4024 inverter. Inverter on the left, power panel in the middle, two solar charge controllers. All programmed up through the system control panel. Let me know if you have any questions about setting up your 
Schneider XW inverter charge controller, auto gen start, battery monitor kit, gateway, com box, 60 amp, 80 amp, you name it. Thank you.